Pisces, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Pisces, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Pisces, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You'll find her info in the description box as well. And stay tuned till the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in, Pisces. See what we got going on for you today. First card is... Eight of Wands, look at this. Right now your angels and guides are telling you that it is clear skies ahead when you focus your attention and your awareness on something very abundant that's about to take place because you also got the Seven of Cups here. And what does that really mean? Life is like having two different plants. The plant that you water is going to grow and the other plant is not. Now for example, imagine one of your plants bears fruit, delicious fruit that nourishes you. Now the other plant is poisonous. Which one of these should you water, right? And that's all it comes down to right now. Focus your awareness, your attention towards what you want. And I have a trick that I'm going to show you by the end of this reading. You'll know exactly how to control your energy, focus it towards what you're looking for, and watch your manifestation come to you extremely fast. Now, you got the Page of Wands, Seven of Cups, Queen of Swords with the Eight of Wands. Beautiful energy here. With that Ace of Wands energy in the sun, it's just, it's just so much good things. Now, you got the Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Knight of Cups. That's that quantum entangled energy of your empathic energy drawing what you're looking for. Here's the resistance portion, eight of cups, two of swords, the hangman, something you got to walk away from. We'll figure out exactly what that is and help you clear it with judgment. Ace of Cups, yes please, and the Knight of Wands. I'm loving this energy so far. Now Pisces, your affirmation for today is I am open to receiving money. Yes, you are. This is your birthright. Affirmation means effortless attention. Quantum entangle with this energy by writing it down in the comment section. I am open to receiving money. By doing so, you're inviting money into your life. You're letting your angels and guides the universe know you welcome money by commanding, assuming, expecting it. Write this down in the comment section. I am open to receiving money. Let the universe know you are ready. Write this down in the comment section. Right now, your angels are telling you multiple different opportunities of wealth await you. You are going to be making money many, many different ways, most likely five different ways. For example, an investment, a job, maybe you're going to be able to do business with someone. There's something very big about to happen and there's multiple ways of income coming your way. This is something that your angels and guides want you to focus on. Be aware of this, right? When you are aware that there's all these different opportunities presenting themselves, your focus and awareness is on the vision and the, the, the story the future. You're not left with the memory of the past and they want your awareness here because if your awareness wanders to a familiar past and therefore you know you get stuck there, this is where the hesitation and procrastination comes from. And right now I'm going to show you an energy, a, a way how to clear this energy and really let go of this money block because that's what it really is at the end of the day. Now you have the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So right now by using your empathic energy, you are going to be so magnetic that everything naturally gets drawn on to you. I see you I see you not only being more attractive as far as you know wanting to network with or collaborate with, but I do see that everything falls into place more effortless for you. So for example, you'll be more flowing, you'll be more in alignment. Everything will just seem to be effortless rather than efforted. And this energy is something that not only is uh, um, in harmony with you, but also in harmony with the opportunities that will be presented to you. So for example, when you are not resisting anything, you're not resisting everything. So one synchronicity after another happens. Immediately, you all of a sudden, you get a promotion. After that, you meet your soulmate. After that, you're going to be like, whoa, did I find the fountain of youth? I seem to be getting younger. Everything seems to be going right. I see major changes happening, and I do see these opportunities taking place, and your angels and guides steering you in the right direction. And what they really want is your awareness there, so you're able to recognize their guidance and for you to take advantage of it. So right now, it's like, 
There's also an energy that has to get cleared. I'm going to show you how to clear this energy. There's an energy of wanting, but not in the sense of being wanted, but wanting. And there's a big difference. When you are wanting something that is lacking, that means you don't have it. When you feel wanted, you are very happy. You're providing a service. You know, in order to be happy, all you have to do is feel wanted. This trick works like a charm. I call it the wanted effect. So for example, right now when it comes to your work, rather than want to get a promotion, I want you to visualize you going into work and then your boss say, oh my goodness, Pisces, I'm so glad you're here. Listen, there's a position that just opened up that I, I recommended you get, right? I referred you for. Now, you don't even have to apply for this position. All you have to do is say yes. There's not even a second interview. This position pays double what you're making annually. And on top of that, it's better hours. And the reason I need you is because I want you, Pisces. You are someone I trust. I know you're the person for this job and you are someone that is the only only person that would you know be able to handle this position and even though it's something that's more effortless for you it's harder for others so please do me the solid do me the favor and say yes to this position ah you feel wanted right or for example even with love imagine your soulmate you and your soulmate holding hands going for a walk they turn around look at you in the eyes and they say Pisces I love you I need you I want you you are someone that makes me feel not only secure but I learn from every time I'm around you you make me want to be a better person. Thank you so much for blessing me. I need you so much. I want you. I love you, Pisces. Ah, that feeling of being wanted. What happens when you feel wanted? You're like, ah, that safe, secure feeling. You let go. We did it. And that moment of we did it, I am wanted. Everything's okay. That energy right there is how you clear the energy. And that is how you strategically are able to move energy because that's what it is. Lots of thermodynamics. You move the energy of you wanting to being wanted. And that right there is the game changer. And now one thing after another, as far as good things, right? One synchronicity after another will find its way to you. And this trick works like a charm. Like I use it all the time. I use it for many, many different things. And I'll give you an example. Say if I was going to go to a yoga class and it was my first day there and I was a little bit anxious. I was like, oh my goodness, I wonder who's gonna be there. Will they like me? I would visualize myself going into that yoga class and someone coming up to me saying, Oh my goodness, Vince, we are so glad you're here. You know, nothing would make us happier if you sat next to us. We need someone because our, our, you know, our fifth man is not here, whatever the case is, and we need you to take place, take to uh, participate with us. We really would be, you know, honored if you would do so. Would you do us the favor? I'd say yes, of course. But this trick of being wanted works like a charm anywhere, anytime for any scenario. Now, here we go. Your message, excuse me, your animal spirit. Look at this right now beetle spirit look at the message or excuse me scraps scrap beetle spirit look at the message magic works through you what is magic it means mystical what is mystical spiritual what is that visualizing meditating manifesting for example the affirmations quantum entangling with this i am open to receiving money that is mystical that is magical that is exactly what your guys want you to focus on you know earth is a third dimensional energy of particle or matter what that really means is stuff you can hold smell taste your senses but the mystical, the fourth dimension, fifth dimension, seventh dimension. This is a fractal holographic universe that's been proven that there's at least 11 different dimensions where the universe would actually collapse in on itself. What does this really mean? There is levels to this. And right now, when you tap into the quantum level, you are going to realize, wow, I don't have to wait for anything and I could actually draw it to me. Now, final message from your spirit guides. Look what they say ideal course of action with a beautiful card here for you and their message is where are you here we are so it is easy to be overwhelmed in the planning of a new endeavor simplify your plans clearly envision what you would like to accomplish and find ways to ensure you can stay on path eliminate self-sabotage or other my other behavior that might derail you now what is self-sabotage what are they telling you self-sabotage is nothing more than fear that's it because you want to excel you want to do better in life spirit wants for you to be rich healthy spirit wants you to have a million dollars tomorrow in your jet flying around the world 
experiencing stuff. That's what spirit wants. But fear is the limiting belief. Now, why is fear there? Fear is there because the ego prevents you from doing anything because it hates uncertainty. It's scared of change. Even if that, scared, if that change is something beneficial to you, it still doesn't want it, but you do. So right now, don't listen to fear. Instead, listen to your higher self. So the next time you feel like, mm, I am scared to do something, understand fear is another word for excitement. You are excited to do something. Are you scared to go you know, start that new job or are you excited? Oh my goodness. Are you scared because you're like, oh, I don't know if it's gonna go right? Or are you telling yourself, I can't wait to go you know, do something new. It's a breath of fresh air. It's all perception. Use the perception of power, which is love, and let the universe deliver your manifestation to you. All right, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.